The book shown here is a book called The Infallible Guide to Future Events by A. Garfield Harrison. It's one of the rarest 20th century books on astrology, and the reason for its rarity becomes apparent if you turn to the title page within. I'm just going to lift the cover here. See, that's just the end papers there. And a half title page. And then we have the portrait of the author. As you can see, he's a black astrologer, A. Garfield Harrison, which was quite unusual in the UK in 1928. A very smartly dressed man with a tie and jacket and hands that show a certain age, I would guess maybe in his 50s or thereabouts at this stage. Then we continue to the title page, and there you can see why it's so rare. It was priced at the extraordinary price for 1928 of £100, and sold at the Occult Bookshop and Lending Library in Wakefield Road, Bradford. Bradford is a big city in Yorkshire in the north of England, and it's been quite an important part of the country for astrologers since the 19th century. But in 1928, £100 was not a normal price for any book, particularly not an astrology book, because in today's terms that is equivalent to over £5,000. So this book was clearly marketed at a very select, wealthy readership. And when you continue into the book, it eventually becomes apparent the reasons for this. You can't really see just from the tab table of contents, but in fact, the focus of this book is the application of astrology to speculation on horse racing. And I think it's fair to say that gambling is one of the few areas for which people are prepared to pay over the odds if they're serious for books that are very instructive. And we found, for instance, that the financial speculation books of W.D. Gann and his courses in the United States in the early 20th century were priced at a similarly high price to this book. So it is actually not extraordinary for that type of book. It's just extraordinary for a work on astrology. So as you can see from the table of contents, there are various somewhat enigmatic titles for the different chapters, one of which is the Celestial Orchestra, one of which is about a cosmogony, and one of which is Movement of Fortuna, this referring to the part of fortune by its um, Latin name, and then mentions of the moon, and a few other general sounding chapter titles. It's not a very long book even, so it's all the more extraordinary that it was priced at £100 in respect of that. But there is a copy at the British Library, and this one just happened to become available in the earlier part of this year. I haven't taken any pictures until now, because until very recently I didn't have a charger for this camera. But here it is.